the big name in the electric car space, but Rivian is definitely starting to make moves. I know that you decided to go with the Ford, I think, mm -hmm. but Rivian in general, I keep seeing them around town and they look great. They they are they look like cool cars. And some big news this week, I think it was uh, Volkswagen committed a, a hefty number of investment dollars and it looks like your signal is calling a buy. What are you seeing in Rivian? Yeah, Rivian absolutely got, I think it was something like a 28, 29% uh, increase in price in their stock overnight when Volkswagen announced that they'd put, I think it was somewhere between five and $10 billion into Rivian. Uh, for some of Rivian's technology to be applied to Volkswagen. We also have heard rumblings that Apple and Rivian are in talk. So Rivian has established themselves as a player in the technology world, whether it's actually business to consumer selling cars or whether people want to license some of their technology. You know, it might be a smart move for the Rivian guys um, to, to take kind of a note from like Intel. Remember all those computers that said powered by Intel, powered by Windows. You know, you could have a Volkswagen powered by Rivian. So, you know, that that's that's never a bad idea. So uh, the, the investors like that and uh, good on Rivian, you know. Uh, I, I think that that makes some sense. And just real quick off of the chart, uh, it looks like mm -hmm. we saw a pop from about 10 up to 16. Now we're sitting at mm -hmm. about 14. So mm -hmm. a, a pretty decent return just on you know the stock ownership side. It makes me think of a company that uh, I, I had personal dealings with back in the late 90s. And this was a company called Qualcomm. And Qualcomm in the late 90s actually was making uh, a cell phone network in Southern California. They were also dabbling in actually having cell phones themselves, like that would be sold at, you know, different stores. And, and, and they figured out while I was working with them that their really big focus, their, their special sauce, uh, if you will, was the Qualcomm chip. And, you know, now that's where they decided to focus all their efforts in the late 90s. And now every single cell phone, whether it be an Apple, whether it be a Samsung, whether it be a Motorola, whether it be a Google, they all have a Qualcomm chip in it. And Qualcomm makes a pretty penny on selling each one of those chips to everybody. And again, I think that might be a play for Rivian rather than trying to run this business in a very competitive and very cutthroat business, um, you know, they, they might take a, a note out of that playbook, right? Yeah, and for anybody new to options, uh, it, we've been talking about this being a potential good name to hold yep. over time and yep. then sell the premium, earn that kind of, kind of use it as a income and kind of like a dividend. And so, uh put you might be on. getting exercised if you sold that premium for july you know we just had uh an expiration in june right last friday um and i don't think anybody would have sold the july premium that fast uh because this news popped up the rivian price on wednesday but uh my goal if i was uh holding a lot of rivian would be to always sell out of the money calls against my stock holdings so that the likelihood of being called out would be very little, but I could still make some premium, right? So instead of going for the at the money option, I'd be going out of the money and I would be waiting for, you know, during that month, whenever Rivian was kind of hinting that it was at its highest, right? If I would have sold my call over here at like 12 or 1250. Uh, I would have been fine. I would have kept my stock and sold that call. Now I'd be looking at selling the 15 uh, option.